A man accused of stabbing an employee at a Chinatown bakery earlier this week had his court appearance rescheduled for tomorrow. The court needs to find him a translator. Today we're learning new details about his previous connection to the bakery on Stockton Street. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn has the story. Fook Poi Lai, seen here in this photo, is accused of stabbing a female employee at AE Bakery on Stockton Street on Monday morning. A witness took this photo right after the attack. Police arrested him without a struggle. According to court documents, Lai attacked the bakery employee just 10 days after he was released from prison. Today, we talked to the bakery owner, Henry Chan, by phone. I don't know why the city put it out, you know, 10 days ago. We're learning more about the connection between the suspect and the bakery. Chan tells me that according to police, lies the same man who stabbed Chan's father back in 2016 in Portsmouth Square. This was a report in Hoodline about the attack. Chan says his father was playing poker with friends in the park that day. How serious was it? Was it bad? Very bad. I think 12 days in the hospital. Chan says he's never seen Lai and that his father didn't know Lai either. I didn't even know him. Lai pled guilty to attempted murder and was sentenced to nine years in prison. My hands are still shaking. This is how I feel. News of Monday stabbing is disturbing to a lot of people in San Francisco's Chinatown. According to the bakery owner, the employee stabbed had only been on the job for three days and was still training. She was critically injured. Today, we asked the DA about Lai's alleged attack just days after he was released on parole. I'm horrified by the events that took place. Um, we are taking this case very seriously. When we have someone who not only attempts to kill uh, a resident in the past, but now apparently has committed the same type of behavior, uh, these are exactly the types of cases that concern us and that we make sure that we uh, take a closer look at. DA Brooke Jenkins says it was not her office's decision to release Lai. She says the California Department of Corrections released Lai on parole. My office was asked whether or not we wanted to oppose uh, his release back into San Francisco for his parole, and we actually did object. Uh, but unfortunately, he was still released here. Jenkins says she has filed a motion to detain Lai without bail. Lai returns to court for his arraignment Thursday morning. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.